What is hatching, Toga Peeps? Old Man Sub coming at you today with our team builder for week five of the PPL D2 season three. And we are playing a team we didn't get to play last season because we picked up mid season, and uh, this team had already played ours. And that is the Southampton Se Sneasels returning from last season. And uh, Jordan, Jordan is. Jord is their coach. So let's take a look at their team real quick. They have Latias, Clefable, Nitto Queen, Snorlax, Jolteon, Heracross, Mega Agron, uh, Megatron, and uh, Crawdont. So looking at that team, first thing I notice is there's a huge gap in the speed tiers. Uh, you've got Latias at like 110, 115. You've got Jolteon at like one third, one higher than all of mine, which is like 130 something. Latias also, I think, faster than my entire team. So that's something we really have to watch out for. Yeah. Woo. Okay. So let's see what we're going to build here. So th another noticeable thing a gap in the speed. If he makes like Latias one of his dedicated walls. He could potentially, I don't know which mons on his team, learn it, but it's something I learned from last season in the GBA, is you always have to be mindful of the possibility of Crick Room. Steve, uh, Battler X, pardon me. So that's something we need to watch out for. Uh, Swords Dance or Dragon Dance Crawdaunt is always a scary thing. Uh, Mega Agron... No reliable recovery, but we need to be able to slowly take it down. Heracross, Jolteon, Snorlax, yeah. So he's got some possibility for some setup mons. Um, so yeah, we really need to be careful of that. So let's take a look at what we got. What are we bringing? Now, we've got Jolly Roger Raticate, and we really want to get some kills for Raticate this week. I was hoping it would get the last kill last week, but didn't. So, we really need to get Roger some hits. Now, what are we bringing this week? Toxic Orb, Guts, Protect, Sucker Punch, Facade, and U-Turn. Now, that pretty much nails the majority of his team really hard. Outside of maybe Mega Agron. Uh... Sucker Punch hits Latias for super effective damage and Jolteon for neutral damage. And if I'm not mistaken, once uh, Guts is activated, the Sucker Punch should one-shot any version of Jolteon, I think. Um, I actually don't remember if I ran the calc on that specifically, but cannot come in and take a hit whatsoever. I mean, Facade ruins everything on his team but Mega Agron everything so uh really looking forward to that we outspeed everything on his team but latias and jolteon barring scarfers um scarf moxie heracross something we used which i'm going to tip my own hat for relatively well last season uh when we beat miguel proving that once the speed is gone that it can just destroy a team so that's something we have to be mindful of so that's what we got. Uh, U turn to scout, facade because power, sucker punch to pick up the kills on the speed things. So yeah. Next, we got Steven Universe, Steven U. Um, Sableye? No, you're going to say, Tup, why do you have Keen Eye and not Prankster? Well, we're bringing Counter this week. And we're like, Tup, Counter, what? You're not running the Will-O-Wisp? Well, I am deathly afraid of Guts, Scarf, Heracross. Because that thing ruins my face. Completely. You thought Mega Sableye ruined my hip? Well, this thing does an even bigger number on my face. So I need to watch for that. Now, granted, while I have Mega Sableye, Guts, Heracross isn't as scary. Because I can eat a few more hits. And if I survive, the counter is just muy bueno. So we're going to see what we can do about that. Um, counter, mainly because it will destroy Mega Agron 
when it returns the hits. Um, also Snorlax, which are the two main things that uh, Shadow Ball don't hit for good damage. Uh, Crawdont's also there. The, as long as I don't get one shot by anything, Counter destroys his physical threats. Destroys them. Maybe outside of Heracross. Uh, Heracross not going to take as much damage, but still. Calm Mind Shadow Ball Recover. Uh, the standard Mega Sableye set outside of the Willow Encounter switch. So there you have that. Relaxed Nature. Uh, because we're not going to outspeed anything anyways. And I had a specific reason I picked that and I don't remember what it was. I don't remember. We'll see. Next, we're going to bring Athena, our fat special defense wall. And you know your mon is fat when your team is set at level 50 and its stats still reach into the near yellowish green color. Woof. So, Athena, Leftovers Levitate, Thunder Wave, Moonlight, Ice Beam, and Psy Shock. Um, Ice Beam hits the major threats. This is going to come in and hopefully stop. Uh, namely Latias and Nidoqueen. We need the Psy Shock in order to hit uh, possibly special defensive Clefable. Uh, it does better damage against Snorlax. And uh, super effective damage on the things. We don't really hit Crawdont or Mega Agron very well. But Thunder Waving them and switching appropriately is the plan for that. So, yeah, this thing is mainly because we didn't bring Ferrothorn this week. This is to come in and take some of the special attack hits um, outside of Life Orb or Spex Jolteon, which I really think he's going to be bringing Spex Jolteon this week. And you'll see my next Mon is the counter for, or the, the answer for that. Um, with this stands up to everything outside of specs Jolteon in his special attacking core okay now we got Sunstorm the answer to specs Jolteon Shadow Ball can't hurt us I really don't think he's gonna be running HP fighting because that would just be silly um we're gonna take Thunderbolts like a boss we're gonna be taking Volt Switches like a boss we're going to be taking everything like a boss. So, yeah. Assault Vest just makes this thing so ridiculously bulky with little to no investment. It's just fantastic. Enough speed to outspeed max speed Heracross. Because if it's Scarf, we don't outspeed it anyways. Uh, most of the rest of his Mons, it would surprise me if they're Scarfed. I don't want to rule that out in my head. But... But something we just need to be mindful of. So, we have the Focus Blast for Mega Agron, Hyper Voice, Surf, Volt Switch. Again, Hyper Voice. I almost ran Specs Hyper Voice, but I needed a better answer for possibly HP Ice Jolteon. Because Jolteon with Thunderbolt, HP Ice, and Shadow Ball can really do a number on the rest of my team. So I needed an answer for that, and that was this. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I keep looking to my other screen, that's where I have his team pulled up. But, like I said, Focus Blast, Hyper Voice, Surf, and Volt Switch just run shop on his team. Um, Mega Crawdont doesn't want to focus, Mega Crawdont doesn't want anything but a Surf from this. Jolteon, the only thing it can come into is the uh, predicted Volt Switch. And again, Hyper Voice just is going to wreck it. Because Hyper Voice is bueno. Uh, Heracross doesn't want to take any of the hits outside of Focus Blast. Snorlax, if it's fat special wall Snorlax, is going to be an issue for this. But we'll Volt Switch into the appropriate um, switch from there. Uh, depending on the set he's going to be running. He's probably going to have to have like Crunch and Earthquake. Would be my guess. 
because he's going to need to be able to hit Athena and just Earthquake and Body Slam isn't going to do that much. And if he just has Earthquake and Body Slam, Steven Universe comes in and wrecks it. So yeah, that's something we need to be mindful of. But yep, that's Sunstorm. Like I said, just enough speed, dot speed, max speed, Heracross. Uh, because like I said, that's the next fastest thing on his team. Everything else, the speed just drops way low, like down to the 50s. I think Clefable is the next fastest thing after that. And that's, woof. Like I said, definitely want to be mindful of some way for him to make slow things fast. Like Tailwind. Street Shark. Bring it, Street Shark. Um, Scarf set this week. What did I... Okay, 151 because Heracross's max speed jolly is 150. So this is my answer to if he has Scarf Heracross, this one out, this will outspeed it and one-shot it with uh, Outrage. So that's bueno. Uh, we also have to be mindful, this thing does a lot of damage to most of his team. Uh, once Latios is gone, if he brings it, he has no immunity to ground. And uh, the only resistance, I believe, is Heracross. So, yeah. And the only form of priority on his team... Heracross gets Quick Attack. Crawdont gets Aqua Jet. Nidoqueen gets Sucker Punch. Does Snorlax get Quick Attack? I don't think so. So I'm not really worried about that. I mean, like I said, unless he has a way to set up the Trick Room, or maybe if he gets up a Tailwind, we might be in trouble, but... I don't even know if there's any Mons on his team that set up Tailwind. Maybe Latias? I don't know. Maybe that's something I should look into before we battle. But, yep. That's Team Choice Scarf, Rough Skin, Iron Head, Earthquake, Outrage, and Crunch. Those are the, three be or the four best coverage moves I need against his team. He's only got two things on his team that come in and resist and or immune to the Outrage being Clefable and Mega Agron. Uh, Mega Agron isn't going to want to come into an Earthquake, and neither is Clefable really. So, yeah. Next we're going to bring in Tyrion. Uh, we're bringing Expert Belt this week. I might change up the item last minute just to try... Uh, this was the best thing I could come up with on the spot. Mainly what I want to do is bait out the Latias because let's be honest not much else on his team wants to come into a banded Sacred Fire. Um, provided we don't burn it, Toxic is a really good option against Latias especially if it's a fat wall Latias. I would really be surprised if that is what he brought. Um, he has mostly offensive Latias. I mean yeah. So, Offensive Latios can run run circles around my team, which is why we need to be careful. So, yeah. We have Sacred Fire because Sacred Fire hits everything on his team for at least neutral damage except for Latios and Crawdont. So, I mean, yeah. That's just going to do a bunch. Then we got Bulldoze. If we're worried he's going to send, try and bring in something quick. Like if he switches in Heracross. Not that I think he would do a Sacred Fire. Because that would just be harder. But yeah. We got Toxic. Because Toxic is good and things. So that's it. I really didn't need a fourth move for coverage. Because like I said. Everything I want to hit. Is going to be hit by everything else on the team. I mean I could have run Iron Head. To get a neutral-ish hit on Latios and super effective on Clefable. But Clefable isn't going to want to come into Sacred Fires anyways. The stab is worth as much as the super effective and higher base damage. So no real need for the Iron Head. Uh, including the fact that Crawdont and Jolteon, I think, are the only two that resist. And Mega Agron. So those are things we need to be careful of. Um, extreme Speed because it does a number on the things that are faster than it, namely Latios and Jolteon. Jolteon doesn't want to come in and get hit in the face with an extreme speed. Um, now that I think of it, well, Expert Belt really helps out against Agron because it has Filter. I mean, we only really super effective hit those two things. We'll probably switch up the item before we battle now that I'm looking at the team again. But anyways, guys, that's my matchup. 
my team coming in like i said probably switch on the move on Tyrion. maybe assault vest no i can't run toxic with assault vest tough don't be dumb that would give me another answer to draco but yeah we'll figure something out maybe we'll run life orb um possible leads on this team sunstorm depending on what looks like this is going to be the speed of his team uh can volt switch out or like i said pretty much super effective everything that isn't faster than me uh possible steven universe lead possible jolly roger lead uh mainly because you turn we got volt turn on this team and steven universe because i don't have a way to set up or remove hazards on this team why because the only thing weak to hazards on my team right now is Tyrion. And like I said, if I too many things on this team can set up, then we need to try and get or set up stealth rocks and I'm gonna try and get crazy on it. But I don't think anything on this team sets up spikes or toxic spikes. Well, Nitto Queen might set up toxic spikes. I'm not really worried about that though. So that's the team. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Alright guys, we will catch you on the flip side. Peace.